So one of the things that we still don't know is uh, second line therapy um, uh, to use, um, you know, capecitabine plus uh, um, timozolamide versus Ludothera. Um, and that's actually a clinical trial that's going on right now that can answer that question. Um, we're in the process of bringing it to Cleveland Clinic as well. Um, so that's one main question um, that we still don't know. And we, we need to have more therapies, I think. There's a lack of therapies. And these patients actually l sometimes live a long time. Um, not all of them, but they, you know, mid, I would say good number of patients. And so they are looking for therapies after that. You know, let's say you do Lanreotype, and then you do Ludothera and Captem, and then after that, what, you know, what happens? Um, there are, of course, other medications such as Everolimus uh, that, that can be used, um, or Sunatinib can be used, but um, I, you know, they, ha they all have like their own side effect profile and uh, one has to be careful like which one to use. And uh, so that's, uh, that's one thing. The second thing is some patients that I actually have myself um, are not somatostatin receptor positive on the, on the uh, gallium dotatate scans. And so that limits them because, uh, you know, they can use lanreotide. They don't even, uh, they don't even have any carcinoid uh, syndrome to use that. And um, they can't use Ludothera because they don't have any you know, uh, SSA positive uh, receptors. Uh, SSA receptor positive on their cancer. So then it just, you know, then you have to choose from the limited number and there's definitely a lack of, um, you know, medication uh, for these patients. And I think um, we still, we're still, we still need a lot of effort to go into this.